everyone, it's Crafty Music Lover here, and today we're going to be doing a spring bucket list plan with me video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in to the materials. As far as the page for this specific plan with me, I decided that I'm going to use some uh, scrapbook paper. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to use this as the basis of the scrapbook page and then this just blue plain um, cardstock kind of scrapbook page for some of the extra detailing if something needs a backing or anything like that as the other basis of the page. To add some decoration I'm going to be using this sticker sheet that I got from the Dollar Tree a while ago and I actually cut it up into two um, because it would fit in my sticker book that I had had at that time better but this is just what the um, little page looks like all together and I'm going to be using this for some decoration I also am going to be pulling things from the spring happy planner sticker pack and a couple of things from the Digital Detox Happy Planner sticker pack, mainly probably just some quotes and things like that. So now that I've showed you the materials, we're just going to go ahead and get right on into the plan with me. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and cut these down to size and punch it with my Happy Planner punch um, so that it is a good size that I can go ahead and decorate it up. And what I decided to do for this is I cut it or I folded it in half to make a spread because I think that's definitely what I want to do and in order to size the page to make it the correct size I am using just a regular piece of filler paper from an extension pack. I know that it's going to be a little bit shorter than your normal spread and I'm actually okay with that. When it's punched it's probably going to be about this much shorter than the actual page which I again I'm okay with so I'm gonna go ahead and line it up and cut it to size with my exacto blade and a ruler now that the pages are punched and properly cut out I want to go ahead and add the bucket list items before I do anything else just because I want to make sure that um, everything looks right before I add like a title or anything. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to pull off the little bucket list items that I really want to do because there's two pages so I think I'm going to pull those off and see how they look on the background. If they don't look good I will cut some page some little background stickers out for the um, for them to go on but we will we will see I'm hoping it'll look okay so I have this just like random piece of plastic left over from a Christy Ann Designs booklet that I just peeled off and I used know. as a way for me to see what works so I picked out a few of them that I really thought would work really nicely with um, just how the world is going right now and everything like that so most of these are happy planner ones and then these three white themed background ones are uh, Chrissy Ann Designs and I might actually not use the Chrissy Ann Design ones at all um, just because I don't think it'll work right because I was looking to see if it would be a nice backing for like if I would even need the blue and I don't think I do I think that the this is just the right color so I, I like that a lot and I think that that would fit really nicely together with the whole page. I think I want to find some items to go with each and so I have another one of those just regular sticker sheets that I'm going to use to see what goes with where and kind of pick out some pictures. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try and do that. Okay, so enjoy the sunshine. I want to put that right here. I like these glasses. I wonder if there's... Oh, look, there's some glasses. Maybe... Maybe I could do, like, the glasses and the hat, maybe? The splash and puddles. And I'm definitely going to be using that boot that's on the front page. I'm crinkling my sticker.
do this bouquet maybe that's a little too close to maybe I should do the other bouquet I was thinking of maybe using the bunny, but I kind of want to like pick and choose between regular and clear stickers. So from the Journaling Doodles sticker pack, I found a couple of things for the um, make a spring craft and read a book outside because I thought that would be nice to use and I can just color these in so that they kind of match the rest of them. And then, let's see, I bet I can find something for this one. I still have to find something for the go for a nature walk or a nature hike. I'm thinking I might just use that bunny. So in the Trend Setter sticker accessory book, there is a little list of different mani petties. So I thought that would be perfect to go with it. And I'm thinking I'm going to use probably this yellow one here just to give it some uh more color but i don't oh maybe not maybe we'll use the purple because that i don't want to use pink or blue because there's already too much in here yeah we'll use the purple so i realized i'm gonna have to do two so my thought of not doing two is Botched. So I'm going to use this other side for the other one and I found a sticker in this like loose pack um, I don't remember where I got it from I believe it was Hobby Lobby But it's just this like sheet of different like cooking things and things like that So I thought this would be nice to use for the um, pie because I couldn't find a pie sticker anywhere uh, I'm still trying to look for something for my nature hike and for my uh spring cleaning and zoo so hopefully we'll be able to find something for it so I found this which is not from happy planner I think it was from Michaels or it's by the paper studio right here it says the paper studio on there and I thought this would be nice to do for the go for a hike so I'm thinking I might do the, the sweet life um, little sticker here I think I still want to add the bunny on here because I think that would be really cute. Um, or maybe just some leaves or something. I think that would be nice to use. Let's do, hmm, yeah, let's do some flowers. I like that. That's cute. Okay. Now I want to do, find something for spring cleaning. I don't want to use the digging tool. I also want to find something for go to the zoo. Okay, so I decided I think I am just going to go with the bunny for the zoo specifically. Um, just because I don't want it to be too overwhelming. So I think I'm going to do the bunny for my zoo. Um word here and then maybe add the bird on the corner like right there or something I think this might be too many Okay, so I did that little icon there, and now I want to go back in the bucket list items and see if there's anything else I can use. I'm thinking maybe go berry picking we can do on here, and I can use one of those berries from the spring sticker pack. Let's do the Easter eggs one. And then maybe one more right here. We're still in, in the middle of a pandemic, so I don't want to do anything that requires like a lot of people. 
I'm thinking maybe the baked cupcakes one will do instead. Maybe the farmer's market because we do have a farmer's market near here that's open near where I live and it's really nice and very safe because not a lot of people go there so I think that's what we'll do. I'm going to do the paper version of the farmer's market here. Oh no. Let's do a few of these berries here. And then I want that one to be there. Maybe like that. Okay, so what I think I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to put the actual stickers now on the direct page and I'm going to go ahead and color these little doodles in so they kind of match the rest of the page and then we will go from there. Oh my goodness, that was an adventure for sure, but I think I like how it looks, so I'm going to go ahead and use my scoring tool and put everything down so that it is nice and flat. Okay, so now that everything is flat on the page, and I just want to say, like, oh, this page has been a struggle, but the more I look at it, the more proud and pleased I am on how it looks. So I'm going to go ahead and add the title to the page. I was going to add a little bit more but I think this might actually be good as far as it goes and I think I'm going to use the spring um, sticker pack that I have been using for the title because there are a few words in here. There's this like blue looking color and then this pink and I'm thinking that I might use the blue just because the pink might not go very well but we will see. Okay, so I've got them on my hand here. Let's just see because I'm going to do spring and then bucket list. So let's see what it will look like. Okay I like this I think. I think it looks nice. Alrighty everyone and that is the official end to my bucket list plan with me. I had a lot of fun making this. It was a quite a bit of a struggle honestly at the beginning but I did enjoy it and I do think that it looks really nice and very very pretty. I really hope you got some inspiration for a bucket list for yourself. Maybe a inspiration for how to do a bucket list specifically with this sticker pack. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot and it helps me know that you guys enjoy this kind of video and that you want to see more just like this. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and let me know down in the comments section down below what your favorite item on this list was. So with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go and until the next video, craft on. Bye guys. Bye.